The Prime Minister has announced that he will step down only in January. Um, but everybody can see that it's very problematic because, first of all, how is he going to continue to function in a credible manner, not just leading this country, but also being uh, on the Council of the European Union? Uh, and secondly, we fear that this continued period, another five weeks, will just offer too much opportunity for people to, um, you know, to tamper with evidence, to uh, to basically undermine the murder investigation that's that's going on. And it is really essential that the truth comes to light and justice is done. Did he seem rattled at all yesterday? Does he look like he's under pressure? Uh, well, <laughs> Uh, that's that's for everybody to judge. Uh, he he stuck by his position. We made it crystal clear what our concerns are, um, and uh, we've we've also had other meetings that confirm basically our concerns. Um, I mean, we we see on the one hand that the police has made progress in the murder investigation, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Uh, and what is very worrying, uh, first of all, is that the the connected corruption cases are not being investigated, um, and that you know this is all very close to the to the prime minister. Uh, it is, it was his chief of staff who seems to be, you know, part of all the different stories, the murder case, the corruption cases, uh, money laundering, what have you. Um, so, and there are ministers in his cabinet who have stepped down. Now it turns out that he himself has been in regular contact via SMS with the man who has now been charged with commanding the murder of Daphne Caruana Galizia. I mean, um, you know, you say that there's more than enough reason to draw your conclusions and step down. He seems to be undeterred and saying, I'm going to leave in January. Do you think your visit might have any impact that says he might go down immediately? Look, you know, officially, of course, the European Union doesn't bring down governments uh, and this country uh, still rules itself. But Malta is also a part of the European Union. So on the one hand, you know, first of all, we care. Uh, the Maltese people are our fellow Europeans and uh, they deserve better, as the president said yesterday. Uh, and on the other side, Malta, as a part of the European Union, also undermines the, the whole you know, fabric of uh, the rule of law, police and justice cooperation. Uh, it, it, it threatens, it jeopardizes the stability of the union. So the union should be on top of this. We will call on the European Commission to, Can I ask, uh, what, what does being on top of this mean for you? What would be a success at the end of this meeting? Well, what has to be done, the, the murder case has to be resolved. The corruption cases have to be urgently investigated. The fight against corruption has to be stepped up drastically. Uh, and then there are a number of constitutional changes like, um, you know, that, that uh, apply to the independence of the judiciary, the integrity of the police, neutrality of the police, etc. Uh, there is a long list of recommendations which the Parliament has already adopted back in March. We also called on the European Commission to start a procedure, uh, a so-called rule of law dialogue, which may also lead up to an Article 7 procedure. Uh, the Commission the previous Juncker Commission has not done anything. We get signals now that the new Commission uh, may be considering uh, Article 7, uh, and we would call on the Commission to immediately start uh, the rule of law dialogue because it's urgent.